rest out. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Thursday's lift session. <laughs> and we're gonna really, we're really gonna switch things up a little bit today. Um, we're gonna do some snatch tech work since it is a lifting session. And normally, even before we clean and stuff like that, I would go, I would go through and teach people snatch work even though they might not be snatching because um, when you do make that transition into snatching, if you, all you do is clean, it makes the transition harder. So, but we're just gonna practice movement, uh, the movement today through the snatches, and we're not gonna be doing any overhead squatting. We're just gonna practice uh, getting comfortable with that snatch grip, elbows, Yes, you were. <laughs> um, so we're going to do some snatch tech work, which will be kind of like our uh, barbell clean warm up. All right? Arms up, fingertips up, arm circles. But like I said, the biggest thing we're working, we're working on today is getting comfortable with that wider snatch grip through all of our movements. So we'll have five snatch grip deadlifts, we'll have five snatch grip pulls, we'll have five muscle snatches, five hang snatches, and five push press off of the shoulders with that snatch grip, all right? So everything is gonna be in that wide grip today. And then we're gonna move on to snatch grip deadlifts and snatch grip bent over rows. Fingertips down if you haven't already. Big circles. And then at the end, we're going to be doing empty bar hang snatches and box jumps. That's gonna be our conditioning today. Reverse if you haven't already. Alternate back and forth. Nice to hit him there and catch up. <laughs> and then both hands front to back. Ten times. side to side 10 times. There was music playing. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and make our way to the ground here and we'll get the hamstrings warm. So go ahead and lay that on. On your back, hands to the side, foot, uh, bring the feet together, flex the toes back, single leg raise all the way up, set it down 10 times. I think it's this place. 
All right, so we're going to, sorry about the delay. So on the, our barbell, and I'm gonna have Madison turn and face the camera. And I'm not sure if you've ever snatched before. Long time. All right, so we're going to, on your bar you have these little marker points. And we're gonna slide your hand out to that wider marker point. All right, practice putting that thumb against the bar, wrapping your fingers around your thumb. So, more like that, okay? And that bar should lay right across either the hip or the belt line. Ideally the belt line, so that when the barbell comes up and if it does make contact with your body, it doesn't hit the pubic bone, all right? So when you're, when you're trying to find that position, pull the shoulders back, and all you wanna do is pop the bar off your hips a little bit and make sure it's not hitting a bone. So just take, pop your hips. Is it hitting a bone or soft tissue? Okay, so now you know that when you're doing your snatch work, when you come from the bottom and up, you're gonna make contact in this exact same spot, you know you're not gonna hit bone, okay? We wanna have a nice wide grip here, all right? And then she's gonna do five deadlifts with that wide snatch grip, all right? So keep those shoulders back and down, slightly in the knees, drive the hips back. And you're not going to be able to go quite as low because your hands are wider. We reduce the length of the how far the barbell is. Nice and slow here. Five snatch grip deadlifts. Okay. And then we're going to go all the way back down into the bottom part of our deadlift. And when we come up, we're going to do our our snatch pull. So we're going to come up, and just like a clean pull, you're going to drive your elbows straight up. Just your hands are wider now. It's gonna feel a little bit different. Five clean pulls, or snatch pulls, sorry. And then we're gonna do five muscle snatches. So we're gonna drive our elbows up and take the weight overhead, or the bar overhead. And then slowly come down. Drive the elbows up and head through. Drive the elbows up, head through. You have two more of those. Is that right? And if that's hard for you, you can use your legs just a little bit. Now we're going to come to the top of the knee and we're going to take the weight overhead, putting the snatch pull and the muscle snatch together. So we're here, okay? Back down to the hips, then to the knee, and muscle and pain snatch. Back down. One more time. All right, now we're gonna bring the barbell to your shoulders your hands wide and we're going to snatch push push press so we're going to keep our elbows up underneath the bar so don't have them way back here like this keep those elbows underneath the bar we're going to dip and punch okay and when you dip make sure you don't lean forward you want to dip straight down and punch straight up okay we're going to do five of those dip down punch up dip down Punch up, and then dip down, punch up. And then bring it down and relax. All right, so as you can see, you won't need a lot of weight today. All right? <laughs> You're like, nope. No, that wide grip, it. Changes everything. Yeah. Changes everything. Which is why we're not gonna lift real heavy today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through that, um, circuit that we just did and we're going to do it every three minutes and if you can add weight to it you'll add weight to it um, but we're going to reduce our reps each round we're going to do it four times so the first time we go through we're going to do five reps of everything and then add weight and or or and or add weight 
and then reduce your reps. The next time we go through it, we're gonna do it four times. The next time we do it, we're gonna do it three times. In the last round, we're gonna do two reps of everything, okay? So that if you are adding weight, you're able to keep form without as many reps, okay? On this first set, keep at that empty barbell. Do you have your phone? Can you pull it up real quick? I feel like I might have missed the movement. Snatch your deadlift, or snatch pull, muscle snatch, hang snatch. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> How'd that feel, guys? Yeah. Feels weird? Yeah. How's the, is there, your shoulders feel okay, or is there a lot of pressure? It's, it's a fair amount of pressure on the shoulders, but uh, so far, so good. Yeah, keep the, um, keep the weight light. And then if, you, if your shoulders start to warm up and they start to loosen up a little bit, then maybe add some light, light weight. If, they stay, if it stays tight, then don't add weight at all. Just stay with that empty barbell. Okay. So are we on the uh, on the little grip lines? Are we on the inner line or the outer line? It's gonna be. So, do you have a PVC pipe there, uh, or a broomstick? Yeah. stick? I'll show. Hold on. I'll show. Oh, actually, that's it. I'm glad you asked that. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. So just for the video, so the question was where on the snatch, where are your hands supposed to be? Really it's a comfort of where your hands are and where the barbell rests on the body. So when you're coming up, cause you don't want, you don't want to have your hands too close. Cause if you snatch and you actually make contact, you don't want to make contact with the pubic bone because it will bring you straight to your knees. All right. <laughs> you don't want to be too wide because then it puts the shoulder in a bad position. So if you have a PVC pipe or even anything that you can put together, you wanna have one hand overhead like this and one hand straight out to the side, making a 90 degree angle, right? And then you come here overhead, bring it down and it'll give you an idea of where your hands need to be. So to measure, you wanna be 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, and you want to shift your hands to the position where you have 90 and 90. Yep, there you go. You just need someone to kind of help you. Just make sure your arms stay straight. Okay. All right, so if you go slide that one out just a little bit. Technically, that's where your hand should be. Okay. It's probably a a little bit wider than what you had on there. Jeez, so it would probably be, yeah, very <laughs> sharply on, on that outside mark. In most people, if you have, unless you have short levers, like for your body, your hands should probably be on that last outside mark or to the collars. Like I could technically go to the collars because my arms are so long. Um, and it all depends on what bar you have. If you're on a women's bar, you might be closer to the collars. If you're on a men's bar, you might be closer to that outside line. So you'll have to, but using that PVC pipe will help line you up and give you a better idea of where your hand should be. And then you'll just inch them in or out based on how it feels. Okay. <clears throat>
in here. There you go. And then we have our hang from the top of the knee. Jumping just a little bit. to the shoulders. Make sure your elbows are right up underneath the bar. Dip and punch. Dip and punch. And rest. And that took about a minute 40. And your heart rates up and your body's nice and warm. All right. I'm going to hang off on weight for this next set and add weight to the next. The shoulders are still kind of tight. And everyone's going to be a little bit different. snatch day of lifting, you guys that understand why I'm not a big fan of doing snatches and workouts. <laughs> All right, here we go. Deadlift five times, keep those shoulders back and down. Squeeze your butt at the top, stand up nice and tall. Four times, right? Five. Oh, four times, four times, my bad, yeah. And then uh, snatch pulls four times. Remember, we're reducing reps. Madison's keeping me straight. Yeah, I added weight for a reason. <laughs> Snatch four times. Bring the barbell to the shoulders. Snatch push press. Dip. Make sure you're punching straight up. Next time, adding weight if you can. We still have a minute. deadlift, snatch pulls, muscle snatch, hang snatch, snatch push press, 
All right, we have three reps this round, three reps. to two reps the next round. And I will say, anyone who enjoys this lift, be super, super patient as you start to snatch. It's very easy to want to go heavy quick, but what's going to happen is you're either going to get injured or you're going to hit a plateau and you're going to have to go back and fix some part of your form before you can get uh, stronger and heavier in that lift. So take the proper progressions. You know, if you don't have a coach, get a coach, because it's way too technical for you to figure out on your own. All right, here we go. Going in three, two, one, and go. Two deadlifts, two pulls, Two muscle snatch. Two hang snatch. And two push press. Take a little break here, check in and see how people are feeling after that. How we doing? Shoulders good? They warm up on you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing a lot of weight, but uh, it's good. Yeah, okay. Alex, have you done those before? I have not. No? I mean, I've done like push press, but in a, like a, uh, a bone squat. Like yeah. The next part, you can probably leave the weight on your bar. We're going to do snatch grip deadlifts. We're only going to do six reps here. We're going three seconds down, three second pause. So if you have these bigger weights on, I don't want you going all the way to the ground because 
then you're just resting on the bottom. So what that's gonna look like is, gonna lift the weight up, we're going down, one, two, three, and that paw should just be below the knee for three seconds, and then we're coming back up for three seconds, and then holding three seconds at the top, all right? The reason is the grip needs to get stronger in that wide grip position, which means we can keep our weight light, work on technique and positioning of our shoulders, our chest, while we're strengthening our grip in that wider grip, all right? As opposed to trying to lift heavy weight faster than we're capable of lifting, all right? So we're only doing six reps there but it's over a minute with the barbell in your hand. All right, we'll rest about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna do six snatch grip bent over rows. So it's going right back into that wide snatch grip, deadlift the weight up, we're coming down just below the knee. A much shorter range of motion here than a regular bent over row, but again, getting you used to that wider grip and pulling those elbows down and back will help get, get you to activate those lats when you're in the bottom position of the lift, okay? So everything we're doing here is to increase strength and awareness while we're in that snatch grip position, all right? And we're gonna do three sets here. We're gonna lift every four minutes for three sets after you finish your deadlift, you're gonna rest 30 seconds just so you can shake out your hands there. All right? And we're gonna go in about 25 seconds. And we can start with the weight you have on the bar. Hey, Jamie, are the rows the same? Three up, three down? The uh, they're, they're three down, pause for a second at the bottom, and then pause for a second at the top. It's not the same three, 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 three. Okay? okay? All right, here we go. Go ahead and get that snatch grip. Stand all the way up. And remember, we're going one, two, three, down, and pause. One, two, three, and coming up nice and slow. And then hold for three at the top. Get those shoulders pulled back, and then down. One, two, three, pause. Pull the bar against your body. Pull the shoulders back and down, slowly coming back up. Number three, going down. Pull those shoulders back, coming up. Number four, and go. Coming up. Five. Pause. And rise. Hold. Hold. Last one. Going down. Coming up. Hold. Hold. And rest. Shake those hands out. Getting used to, and this is this is the lift where hook, that hook grip has to be held because you can't hold a barbell like this and start doing all the work and repetitions without that because then you're going to start losing grip and then the barbell will fly away from you. So developing that hook grip where the thumb is against the bar, the fingers wrap over the thumb. All right, it's uncomfortable, yeah. but the more you get used to it your lifts will go up, your grip will get better.
think we still have another minute here. Oh, no. We gotta do our bathroom, right? That's what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's go ahead and do our bent over rows. Grab that wide grip. All right, so we're going into our bent over row here. Drive those elbows up, hold for a second. Slowly lower down. Drive those elbows up, hold. Slowly lower down. Drive the elbows up and hold. Slowly lower down. Hold. Slowly lower, hold, slowly lower, one more rep, hold, slowly lower. And remember, when you're pulling that barbell towards your body, and I say body because I don't want to make the mistake of saying chest, because people try to pull the barbell to their chest when our elbows need to go back and down. Okay, so it should be about the bottom of the rib cage. Holy crap. So my thumb is here and then my whole hand goes around it like that. And the reason is, is you don't want your hand sliding on the barbell when it's going overhead. Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm not, I feel like I don't have a grip. Like, I bought three waters this morning. Good lord. I, I, and it's, I said the exact same thing. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to hold on to this barbell like that. Yeah. And I will give credit to, um, what's the guy's name? He's local in Charlotte. Uh -huh. He was like, he goes, he goes, put your hand around my finger the way you grab the bar. And went like that. And he, goes, he barely even pulled. He just came right out. He goes, now, he goes, wrap your thumb around my finger and do that. And he went, mm, and my hand went. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to our deadlifts. And you're holding that three seconds as long, as long as you can. If you can only do two, that's fine. You must work up to hold uh, that three, set, three second. Good God, I've had that problem all morning. All right, so going down. One, two, three, and pause. Two, three, up. Two, three, pause at the top. Two, three, and down. Two, three and pause two three and up two three and pause two three down two three pause two three and up two three pause two three down two three pause Two, three, up, two, three, going down, two, three, pause, two, three, and up, two, three, I think we got one more. Yeah. Going down, two, three, pause, up, two, three, hold, and rest. Ooh. There's a reason we're only going three sets. Resting 30 seconds here, then we'll get to our bent over rows. I'm the 
doing that in a long time. I did that grip for like the first four reps. I switched. Right when I switched, my hand started to slide Slider. inside the bar. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bend over rows. Snatch grip, bend over rows. Get into that bend over position. Drive the weight up and hold. One, two, three down. All right, we're going to our next set. Same weight, next set. <laughs> you count the reps, I'll count the tempos. Okay. Team up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, all the way to the top. Going down, one, two, three, and pause. Two, three, and up. Two, three, pause, two, three, and down. Two, three, pause, two, three, up, two, three, pause, two, three, down. Two, three, pause, two, three, up, two, three. Hold and down. Two, three, pause. Two, three, and up. Two, three, how many more? Two more. Down. Two, three, and pause. Two, three, and up. Two, three. Going down, last one, and down. Two, three, pause. Two, Three and up, two, three, and hold and rest. Ha <laughs> ha! You don't need a lot of weight. Don't need a lot of weight. Going into our bent over rows, snatch grip, bent over rows. Six reps. Here we go. Grab that bar. Into our bent over row position. Drive the elbows up, hold, and then down, nice and slow. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out.
All right, so here's the format. We're gonna do 10 hang snatches, 10 box jumps, rest one minute. Okay, now if you're working with someone and you only have one bar, one box, you can do an I go, you go type of format where if Madison and I only have one bar and one box, I would do 10 uh, of my, my round and then I would rest while she does her round. Okay, hopefully you guys are about the same speed so that one doesn't get screwed on the rest time. <laughs> All right, but if it's a little bit more than a minute and you're sharing with someone, that's fine. All right, just as soon as they're done, you start your reps and go. That person's resting. As soon as you're, they're done, you'll go. Okay? Does that make sense? All right. We'll go in 35 seconds. Makes it easy. I feel like I don't want to do snatches anymore. <laughs> Should be about ten minutes. Would be right. All right, here we go. You guys start whenever you get ready over there. We're going in three, two, one, from the hang position, all the way overhead, ten times. Set your bar down, and then 10 box jumps. Good job, Alex. Nice, Bobby. Thank you. 
Bueno. Ooh. 